I came to Scranton because of my job. They relocated me to Scranton because we have, um, this, we have the same company with different name in New York because of taxes. <laughs> in New York, we have W.W. Norton and in Scranton is National Book Company. So they, uh, my, only my, my department, account receivable and credit department, they was gonna move those two departments. So uh, they asked me, do you wanna move to Scranton? If you wanna stay here, you still have a job. I say, yes, I wanna move. New York is getting too big. I stay here because of, well, I came with my children and um, I went to school and I really like it because it was quiet. And especially for my children, I think it was a better place to, to stay. Well, it was a little hard for them because one was in like a teenager, the other one just started. So my son said, there was in the school, he said at that time there was only one black kid in school. And he was, I think, one of the only Spanish. They still have our friends. And, um, um, and the, he told me that they say to him, no, you, don't, you won't have any friends here, so hang out with me. They're still friends. When I moved here, I was looking for, because um, my husband used to say, every place you go or you move, always go to a church, a group, because it's the best thing. You start making friends, and that's what I did. Uh, but they didn't have any Spanish um, math at all. I remember one of the stores that I went, I didn't see too many Spanish people at all. And I went to this store and I heard these people was talking in Spanish. They say, oh, did you speak Spanish? They say, yes. Why? You say, oh, because you were the first people that I heard that talking in Spanish. So the lady, uh, she said, okay, I live in this place. So come to my house so you can meet other people. And then I meet other people that I still uh, talk to them. And they used to get together like on Saturdays and I even find somebody from my hometown in Puerto Rico. And then from there, I started meeting more people and more people. And then church was my, the best thing that I, that I, that I have uh, at that time. Moving from Puerto Rico to New York, it was okay because my mother was already here and my sister. So, and I was young at that time. Well, you're young, you don't, Anyway, any place is okay. Um, yeah, but the, the language was a, a big barrier. And now we have like, it's like the United Nations. We have from Central America, Caribbean, and all kinds of, from all over. At the beginning, I don't remember any, any Spanish restaurants at all. Now we have too, too many choices that you don't know where to go. When I came to, uh, we use a lot of herbs, like cilantro. <laughs> there was no cilantro, when <laughs> no plantains. And because my, uh, my company, like I used to talk to the people in New York, I say, I don't find this here. And they used to send me packages, you know, to the hamper, we call it the hamper because they used to send everything. So they used to send me. And um, rice, the big rice, it was like two pounds of rice. That was another shock. Now, when, after a while, I see, I see a lot of ingredients in, um, in uh, that, like cilantro. Now everybody uses cilantro, because at that time, people didn't know what it was. I work in a publishing company. We, we sell books to all the colleges in the U.S., even I mean, China, Japan, Mexico, all these places. And we are a publishing company, and, and um, every time that somebody speak Spanish, they used to send it to me uh, for me to take care of the person. And I said to the manager, listen, I'm using my Spanish and then English. I should get a better a raise. You say, you are in the wrong company, Carmen. We don't do it. He said, okay. Yes. My supervisor, he's, uh, he was like, he's from the, he was from the Philippines. And he said, Carmen, um, I want you to buy a house. I say, how am I gonna buy a house? I'm a single mother with, well, there was only three living with me. I say, he said, Carmen, right now you're renting and, and you're throwing your money away. 
with a house, even if you don't want to buy a house, at least a condo or something that you saving that money. And I'm so grateful to him. I still talk to him because he went, he, he moved back to New York and uh, he helped me so much to buy a house. Now my house is, I live in Dunmore. My neighborhood, I'm the only Latino there. And then some people move in the corner. And, um, and then uh, um, <laughs> uh, I remember my neighbors, uh, my son said to the neighbors, are you gonna go to the hospital to, to visit your wife? He said, no, there's too many Latinos living there. And I don't, the neighborhood is not that good. And <laughs> my son said, he didn't know that I was a Latino too. Like, and yeah, but my neighbors are like, Wonderful, 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 all of them, because my son passed like two years ago and he used to help all of them. So now they help me. They always come and say, this is what your son did to us. He used to help us so much. So whatever you need something, please, they are there for me. I used to belong to the United Neighborhood Center. They, 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 they help the disadvantaged, the old people, the young people. and. Um, then I, I used to belong to the Girl Scout, and um, I remember that I used to help people and go to the hospitals too. And I used to do that. so. I I like to do that to help other people and give them the hope that is hope out there that uh, that um, that if we get together, we can have a better a better planet for everybody. Thank you. A lot of people don't know. Yeah. Go back to your country, that's why. What country? This is my country, that's what I say to them. This is my country. It's a lot of people that, American people, they don't know that we are a commonwealth of this country, that we are born as citizens. Yes, and people don't know about that at all. Well, I wish people would be more tolerant to others. And, um, because it's a lot of people that, it's a lot of people moving from the big cities here. And, and when you look at the colleges and universities, there's people that come from all over too. I feel, I always feel comfortable, but now that I have more diversity, I feel much, much better. That nobody has to go through any hardship with it because you are Others, that's what the way they call us, others. So, um, and things will change for better. Granton is, is a beautiful place to be, especially when you retire, you want more peaceful tranquility in your life. Most of my family live in Florida, but um, I was planning to move to Florida, but then I don't think I will move anywhere else. I feel like an Escantonian, really. This is an immigrant country. Everybody comes from other countries, and, and I hope that we can um, accept each other and try to be together and help the, the people that are just coming to, like, like the, because when I see somebody coming from another country, I can see myself, that you have to start all over and we should have more help for them. It's not gonna be perfect ever, but we can try. All of us, we can try. <laughs>